living in a very difficult time. You know, we've just come through the pandemic. We were hoping that that would maybe change some things in terms of, you know, our economy or our um, uh, the way we perceive climate change and things would maybe change. Um, but unfortunately, not much has happened. So it's, it feels like at the moment, life is just very tough. And a kiss for the whole world is what what the world needs. You know, we need more affection. We need more compassion. We need more human connection um, to to basically instead of the hierarchy hierarchy of the world being like pr make profit, increase your wealth, com compete, uh, you know, get power, get wealth. And then underneath that is, oh, and then look after each other and, you know, be good to each other. I think we need to change. <laughs> we need to change that. I think, you know, caring for each other and caring for our planet um, need to be the most important things now. It's just an album that is full of excitement and positivity. You know, we I wrote this album coming out of the pandemic when I didn't think I could ever write music again I didn't know if Ent Shikari was just going to be finished um for a year and a half we hadn't played any shows and we and I hadn't written any music so Ent Shikari was not existing so it, that, that whole period was a, a period where I was like trying to work out who I was um it was it was very very strange um and so when the ability to write music again and the ability to play live music came back it was just i think there's a feeling of gratitude um yeah. that that i that we can still do this the 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 government here put on a sort of test festival um in the summer of 2021 or uh, yeah spring summer um and it yeah it was down it was called the download pilot um and it was like a 10,000 person f festival. And that was like just such a euphoric day. You know, it was just incredible. Finally, we were back in a field with loads of people again. And I think that was the first time I was like, I felt the urge to write music again. And it was a slow process because I hadn't written anything for a year and a half. Um, and that was a very scary, strange time, you know, because I've written music since I was nine years old. So it's something that I've always had. And suddenly I couldn't do it. And it was just, yeah, very strange, very disorientating, very disconcerting. Um, and so when we when I started writing again, it was just like a relief, really. It was like, oh, phew, I can still I can still write. Um, and it was everything, all the music was coming out very excitedly. You know, it was, it was like a thrill. Um, and therefore the album's quite like positive and upbeat. Um, and yeah, it was just a, a really uh, relieving, exciting experience writing it. The world, as I said before, the world is, is a very dangerous place. It's a very divisive place. Um, and music is the one thing that actually brings us together indiscriminately you know it's not it's not something that discriminates in any way we can come together no matter your age where you're from who you are you, you we can come together and celebrate our shared vulnerability to music together so i'm very grateful for that this album you know was able to be made um and therefore it's just a very excited positive yeah album we didn't I didn't really have any like specific goals or ideas at, at the start because I didn't even know whether I could write yet. So I was just like, let's see what happens. And as I was writing, all the music was, it seemed to be very like up tempo, full of energy, full of positivity. And so I realized that maybe we should try and make an album like we, we we started by joking about this together, but then it became quite serious. And the joke was, well, let's make an album that's like just bangers, just short, sharp, you know, sing along, big songs like bangers. Um, and it's sort of basically that's what remained. You know, there in previous albums, there's been a lot of kind of 
layers, you know, loads of layers. The songs go on journeys. They meander all different ways. Lots of instrumentation, um, lots of changes. Um, and lots of, you know, also some of the songs are almost like prog rock. You know, they're quite self-indulgent. Like we throw everything at them. Whereas I think with this album, after that gap, I sort of, when I started writing music again, I felt like an extra sense of confidence. And I was like, well, actually, I don't need to throw everything at it. I can just say, that is a really good melody. I'm just going to support that melody. And so the song is going to be much more to the point, you know? It's like cutting away all that the, the fat um, and, and just leaving the protein. <laughs> I think that was kind of the the idea musically to just, so it's going to be like short immediate um yeah recognizable upbeat yeah energetic music every almost every year there's like a different perspective on thing you know someone will bring out an article in the media saying rock is dead um yeah. and then someone will bring out an article going oh no there's all these interesting new ways that you know new bands are creating new types of rock music and it's really cool and i i just i don't know i just ignore all of that i think there will always be a desire for music that is high energy now whether that has guitars or not i don't care really um i will probably always have guitars because that's what we do but there will always be a desire for high energy music. Um, you know, when you're, especially when you're young, your life is high energy. You're experiencing new things all the time. It's, 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 it's intense, you know? So therefore you want music that kind of um, is a, is a soundtrack to your life, you know, as a young person. And, and that's, yeah, that's, that's, what rock music usually is but then also that's what drum and bass music always is um and then you know there's other styles as well that are that are high energy um or dynamic or passionate but yeah that's the only thing that we've ever said we want to do we want to make music that's dynamic and passionate um where now if there's like a if people have decided that like rock music is cool again or not cool like, oh, i don't care whatever I think it was July 2003. So this July will be the the very start of Enter Shikari when we when we formed. Um, so yeah, I mean that's just it's just crazy. I remember years ago, like watching. I think it was it was a hardcore band. Maybe it was Terror or something like that, an American hardcore band, and they were like going, "Yeah, we're celebrating our 20 year." anniversary and I was just like whoa 20 years that's such a long time and now here we are um, <laughs> yeah so I it it's strange because I don't really feel um it doesn't really feel like 20 years I don't know it's just it's just whizzed past you know time just goes faster and faster and faster um the only thing I feel a bit different now is that we've had this uh, year and a half where I couldn't write music and where Enna Shikari would just cease to exist. So this feels like we've almost started again. Like what, what I've been saying is it's like our second act. You know, if, if Enna Shikari was a piece of theatre, this is act two. Um, so it feels like we feel almost like rebirthed and re-energised. Um, so yeah, it, we, it doesn't feel like we've been going for 20 years. <laughs>